that'd that'd be hard to do, wouldn't it? Well, yeah. I mean, on a production of this size and scale, they had to, they wanted to find and check any possibilities for any, you know, because there's so many, you know, so many effect shots that he wanted to do. Let's check all our resources and. And sadly, that though came up, you know, was dismissed pretty quickly because to get a gorilla to perform the way that they wanted to and interact uh, with Anne specifically, uh, that's when they had to call on, you know, ourselves as the hand key animators is to get Khan to, to act. You know, it was an interesting juxtaposition because you needed to animate him in a believable, I'm a big, huge, I'm not only still a bad gorilla, I'm very strong, but I'm huge, like a scale. But I have a human emotion that makes me relate to Anne. And to have that performance come across was something that we had to do by hand rather than taking advantage of motion capture. Uh, so, yes, yeah, so we ended up you know, doing most of that by hand. I would be worried about you know, putting the ping pong balls on the gorilla and not having them. You know, yeah, well, actually, that was the funny part is that um, going to New Zealand, it was an awesome transition because I came out of New York and I flew into New Zealand. There's pictures of New York all over the place. And what was awesome is that a lot of the majority of the staff being you know, local Kiwis, and that's what they call like, the local people of New Zealand, that none of them had been to New York. None of them had ever seen a silverback gorilla, or any gorilla. They'd never seen one. They're like, uh, well, we have, you know, we watched National Geographic from time to time, and there's a gorilla on that. That's pretty cool. And, you know, that, and so they had to actually fly to find one, you know, and, and, you know, and to actually see them in person. So it's amazing to have people create what they do based off of, they just don't have any exposure, so they have to go out and see it. And, uh, and probably, you know, another one of those funny things that came up was they were actually um, floored. They had no idea, not only about the gorilla, but this, this one was, came out of the compositing department that they actually sent an email around, you know, to anybody from the states. And they're like, does anyone, because they're trying to do an, a period piece, so like, does anyone know what the color of the Empire State Building was? <laughs> because they're going from black and white photography from back in the 30s, and no one had been in New York, and no one had seen it in person, so they actually had to hire freelance photographers to go, you know, in New York to go shoot Herald Square, you know, uh, Times Square, you know, the Empire State Building, and so to actually get that kind of reference. So it was pretty fun. Okay. Just curious what your reaction is from going from New York to Wellington. In terms of lifestyle and working and things. Yeah, it was well. It was awesome for me uh, because personally, like I like a lot of outdoor activity and I like to get out and enjoy nature and really be a part of it. It kind of ties in with stop motion, getting your hands on, being part of the experience. And whether you're animating or living your life, that was something that really worked out uh, to go there because I knew nothing of the country. A lot of the people who were not from New Zealand uh, grew up uh, with maps in their classrooms. New Zealand wasn't even on it. A lot of people in production, like, they had, we didn't even know New Zealand existed. Like, it's amazing to hear people's background. So um, even myself not knowing much about it, because it just doesn't get, you know, thanks to Peter, now it's a bit more, uh, you know, obviously on the tours and run, but it was just fascinating to hear what it would be like. And, and it was awesome just to, to see, like, what I had in mind. I envisioned, I envisioned Wellington and New Zealand to be like Skull Island. Like, I'd get there and just be jungle, be dirt paths, and you'd have to walk to, like, these huts where they would do, like, <laughs> how do they get computers, like, even turned on and functioning and networking out there? Like, I thought it would be all raw, you know? And, I mean, it is a, it's a small but functioning city, and it's just beautiful because they're able to shoot all the locations from Lord of the Rings. But it was an awesome transition because, uh, you know, I grew up in the Midwest of the U.S. out of Ohio, and then I went to school in New York. So from going from Ohio, which is this kind of rolling hills, Appalachian, Midwest, East Coast, United States, to New York, that was a huge transition. But then going from like New York back to you know to Wellington, it was almost like where I, I had grown up, so I was kind of familiar with it. 